In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is widely reported that there is immor immorality among you, an immorality of a kind not found even among pagans, a man living with his father's wife. And you are inflated with pride, should you not rather have been sorrowful? The one who did this deed should be expelled from your midst. I, for my part, although absent in body but present in spirit, have already, as if present, pronounced judgment on the one who has committed this deed. In the name of our Lord Jesus, when you have gathered together and I am with you in spirit, with the power of the Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that, so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not appropriate do you not know that a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the years of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread 
of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exalt forever. Protect them that you may be the joy of those who, who love your name. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a certain Sabbath, Jesus went into the synagogue and taught. And there was a man there whose right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees watched him closely to see if he could cure on the Sabbath so that they might discover a reason to accuse him. But he realized their intentions and said to the man with the withered hand, Come up and stand before us. And he rose and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I asked you, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath, rather to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? Looking around at them all, he then said to him, stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they became enraged and discussed together what they might do to Jesus. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to all of you. And we welcome the group of JPP. Cargo Logistics Incorporated as they celebrate their fifth anniversary celebration as a company. So we welcome and uh, we acknowledge them in this celebration. My dear brothers and sisters, as I reflect our readings today, particularly the Gospel, I was reminded by my experience during my clinical pastoral exposure uh, that was a stage in the seminary formation na ikaw po ay may expose sa hospital. So I was assigned at the Philippine General Hospital for I think two to three months. And most of the times, 
ay na-expose po ako o kami sa emergency room. May mga pagkakataon po nakikita ko at naririnig na yung mga doktor, pagtapos na yung oras ng duty nila, nagmamadali po sila. Siguro mayroong appointment or they have wanted to go to their families. But basically, when a patient will come, especially the dying ones, they will stay foot. They will not leave. They will attend to sa mga taong in danger ang buhay. Kahit tapos na ang duty at oras, ay talagang maghihintay hanggang kanilang maligtas ang buhay ng taong nag-aagaw buhay. Of course, we are so familiar with the profession of a doctor who is on call 24 hours a day. It is a profession that commits oneself to saving lives. Anyone who is not determined to be on, on call to save lives round the clock could not be a candidate to this profession. We have the same expectations for many other professions and vocations like lawyers, government officials, of course, religious priests. But what Jesus is trying to emphasize in our gospel today is not the relevance of one profession over others, but the basic duty of everyone to save life or to focus attention to doing what is right and good at any given moment. My dear brothers and sisters, there is never a wrong day for doing good. Even a religious tradition like prohibitions of work on a Sabbath is not a valid reason to refuse to save life or improve it. For Jesus, each one of us matters. And every person in need of healing matters most. Even beyond any observance of the law, saving life and human life at that is far greater and nobler than keeping the Sabbath. So as followers of our Lord who wanted to follow His footsteps and imbibe in our life this is spirituality, let us continue to follow Him by saving lives, by promoting and defending life. Kaya tayong lahat dapat ay pro-life. Dahil ang Panginoon, nagkatawang tao, Alam niyo naman po, para tayo'y iligtas at para tayo magkaroon ng buhay na walang hanggan. So let us continue to uphold what is right at the same time defend life and promote life at its best because that is what the Lord is also expecting from us. Please stand. For us Christians, there is no higher law than the gospel command of loving God and neighbor. Let us affirm this belief as we pray for the needs of each member of the church. As we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed 
and purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may be guided by wisdom when making decisions and setting priorities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our worship may reflect our sincerity and dedication to the humble service of God and neighbor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing and comfort to the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may now rest in the company of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you search our hearts and you know our innermost thoughts. Inspire our hearts for more sincere worship and our hands for more willing service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brethren, that my sacrifice and Please yours stand. may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim 
worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb Love of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. stand. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament. May so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Maria, 